Today we will be taking you to the most important John Paul II sites in Krakow, Poland. Now, most everywhere we take you today will be located within the tourist town. However, we wanted to start you just a little bit away here at 10 Ulica Tinitska in Dubnik, because this is where Kara Wojtyla, who would later become the Pope, first moved when arriving to Krakow. Here we are at the church of St. Stanisław Kuska. This is where John Paul II attended Mass every morning and also where he gave his second mass as a priest. Pavel Cathedral. This is where Karol Wojtyla gave his first mass as a priest, just underground in the crypt of St. Leonard. Around the corner, you will find his statue. Throughout the city, you will find many statues of Pope John Paul II. This is the one just around the corner from Babel Cathedral. The picturesque Kanemitsa Street, just down from Babel Hill, stands behind him, and is where Karol Wojtyla lived until 1963, when he moved to the Bishop's Palace after being named the Archbishop of Krakow. It has now been turned into a museum, as you can see. And just behind the camera is the Jan Pavel Center. Here in the courtyard of the Bishop's Palace is where John Paul II resided as the Archbishop of Krakow. Just through the gate to my left, your right, there is going to be the palpable window. This is where John Paul II spoke to the citizens of Krakow each night, holding conversations, and also where his death was announced and mourners gathered. Every year on the anniversary of his death, you can find hundreds of candles lit out front and people gathering to remember the late Pope. Here behind me is Jagiellonian University, where Karol Wojtyla studied. He took up classes in Polish studies, philosophy, and many languages. He was here into the German invasion when all classes ceased and everyone had to work. Behind me is St. Florian's Church, where Carol Wojtyla served as the chaplain to students and health workers. This is the end of our tour of the most important John Paul II sites within the tourist town of Krakow. There's a lot more, just a short journey away, on the outskirts of the city and beyond. No matter where you are, don't forget to pick up a copy of any of our In Your Pocket City guides or download the PDF online. And check our website and blogs, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitters for all your up-to-date information.